Well, hello, friends and followers, and happy 2021. Welcome to a brand new year with a brand new green field in front of us. I can hardly wait. Uh, my name is Kristen Kaufman, for those of y'all whom I've not had the opportunity to meet, and I'm in the business of helping people create the lives they want without losing the creature comforts that they want. And yes, that's possible. And yes, that can take on a myriad um, of different looks and approaches and, and, um, and ways of contributing in the world. So today I actually wanted to start off with alignment, which of course is the name of my company. Um, many of you all know that um, alignment is a full service coaching and consulting business. We offer workshops and strategic planning services, um, leadership coaching, group coaching, et cetera. That's one of my businesses. And I'm an ardent believer that alignment is when we are most powerful. And so today I just wanted to re establish what it is I mean when I talk about alignment. Alignment to me is when you love what you do, you're good at it, but most importantly, it's tied to something greater than yourself. And if any one of those legs of the stool is a little bit wobbly, then we're wobbly and we're certainly not going to be at our most grounded and at our most powerful. So let's just take each one of those. And I wanted to offer up some resources that I thought might help you if you are in the process of trying to become aligned. Um, and of course, we hear a lot about that alignment word, mind, body, spirit alignment. And I'm a huge believer that that is a core principle of becoming aligned. But really, again, it's about loving what you do, being good at it, and having that tied to something greater than yourself. And when that happens, then all of the mind, body, spirit alignment comes extremely naturally, and it's part and parcel of what we're doing there. So the first thing is loving what you do. This is really not that hard, actually, to determine. Most of us know what we love to do. Um, we are fulfilled. We would do it for free. Um, we would do it without being paid of anything for it. Um, it's something that really makes our heart sing. In fact, I've written a number of books about this. Y'all may know that I've written three um, best-selling books called Is This Seat Taken? It's the Is This Seat Taken book series. And this particular book, the last one I, that I wrote, actually talks about how can you determine what it is that you love. And in the very back of this book, there are a number of exercises. I've entitled it the workshop of um, a thought and activity guide for your journey toward alignment. There it is. And there are a number of fairly easy, not lay downs, um, but they are thought provoking exercises and processes that you can go through to help you determine what really does make your heart sing and allowing you to take those blinders off and to embrace what that might be. So that is step number one, get in touch with what it is that you truly love to do, what you would do for free, what gives your, your heart fulfillment and that um, you know, just really makes you, you happy and you would, you would show up at any point of any day to do just that. Okay, number two, being good at it. Well, the way I look at it, if you're not very good at something, you're probably not going to love it for long. Um, and so you really want to tap into what your God-given gifts are, your strengths are. Um, we all have different gifts. Um, all of us have been given unique and differing gifts. And so our job um, while we're here on this planet Earth is to determine what it is that we were put on this planet to do. And those gifts can be anything from being a world-renowned violinist like Itzhak Perlman to becoming a world-famous author like Tom Clancy uh, to becoming a servant leader like Mother Teresa. All of us have different gifts and all of them are equal in measure. So please don't uh, uh, fall into the trap of looking to the right or looking to the left and thinking that you don't have gifts and other people do. You absolutely have gifts, we all do. So again, in the back of my second book in the Is This Seat Taken a book series, there are a number of tools that you can actually take that will help you determine you know, what it is not only that you like, but also what you're good at. And there are things like the Myers-Briggs Topology Test, the Strength Finders book, the Enneagram, all of them will help you tap into what makes you tick and what really um, you bring to the table. And I'm also going to put at the bottom of this a link that you can reach out to me because I'm actually certified to deliver all of those assessments. And those are just a few that I'm certified to deliver. And if there's anything that I can do to help you 
um, in determining not only what you love, but also what you're good at, I would love to do that. Then the third pillar that I think is one that, again, you have to look deep within yourself to determine really what the answer is. But the third pillar is having it tied to something greater than yourself. And um, oftentimes we've worked, I'm certain in your life, for leaders and people who um, may be very apt at what they do, they're very talented, they have a tremendous skill set, but yet something's not quite gelling. And it may be that they are very focused on what it's going to do for them, what they're going to get out of it, and it's not tied to a greater good or something greater than themselves. And what I think ultimately happens oftentimes with leaders like that, they'll get burned out because the fuel that drives us is that something greater than yourself fuel. For me, my desire and my calling is to help other people reach their potential in their whatever way they define that because it's one size does not fit all. We all aspire for, for contribution in a different way. And nothing is more fulfilling to me than to help a senior level executive in corporate America, an entrepreneur that is just getting started, um, a woman who has never done any sort of business before. Those are just to name a few examples. Help them tap into that inner genius, which we all have, that will help them become the best they can be. And it's ultimately fulfilling something greater than themselves. And one tool that I can recommend um, that you might want to check into if you're not really sure what that greater good is for you is that marvelous TED uh, video by Simon Sinek, Your Why. Because your why is that greater good. It's something that is tied to something much greater than your own DNA or even what your profession or vocation is. So with that, in today's version of Have a Seat with Kristen, I was trying to tackle the three pillars of alignment as I define it. Loving what you do, being good at it, and most importantly, having it tied to something greater than yourself. And, that, and I've introduced you to uh, several resources that you can tap into, most of which you can find in the back of my third book if you, if you need a resource for that. And I'm also going to tap on my um, link tree link below this so that if you need to have a little bit more help or you'd like to have more brainstorming with somebody, you'll know how to reach me. So with that, y'all, let's make this the best 2021 possible. I know we're all coming out of a cocoon. Um, I'm a big believer that we are here to fly. And so if you use that met metaphor from cocoon to butterfly, this is our year to fly and to really aspire um, to see all the things that we want to see and to contribute in all the ways that we want to contribute. So with that, make it a great day. I'll see you right back here next week. We come together every Tuesday with Have a Seat with Kristen, and um, I'll look forward to seeing you then. Make it a great day and a great week.